have used a little more cowbell. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and just a few housekeeping items before we start. I'm excited to announce that I've added strategy guides to the website. I've also added more resources. I've simplified the resources. I got football resources, gaming resources. I've also added a download section to the main menu where you can access my books, the game manual, strategy guides, my dynasty tracker, my real playbook collection. Basically, I've streamlined the entire main menu so you can access what you are looking for. So I'm really excited about all of that. The channel is just, or the website is just in a really good place right now, and I'm looking forward to adding more content to it. I have also decided on which Madden game I'm going to just dive into. I'm really excited about that. I'll post the first video on that next week sometime and I'm already working on capturing playbook info for that game. Of course over time I'd like to get the playbook info for every single football game on the site. It'll take me forever but I'm just kind of going one game at a time and I'm going to go with start with the game that I want to really dive into. So make sure you check all that out and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and subscribe to the free newsletter on the website. That way you don't miss out on any of my content. Okay, in the last Dynasty video, we took on Auburn. I had no issues, but it was a low-scoring game. Auburn came close to scoring a couple times, but we was able to keep him out of the end zone. We're 4-0, we're 7th in the country, and we're taking on Vanderbilt. Now you look at the rest of the schedule. We got a bye week after this game, and then we got number 21 LSU and then number one Florida. So this is going to get real interesting after this game. Hopefully we can take care of business today. As you can see here, Vanderbilt has a little less talent than we do, but it's practically the same. Looks like they run the ball pretty well and their run defense is pretty good. We will put that to the test today. They run a basic pro style offense. I didn't even look it up on the scattering report, which again is on the website. Uh, but I do know they run a 4-3 as well. I play them enough over the years to know kind of what they like to do. As usual, we always work off who their impact players are and go from there. Now, let's go to recruiting. Also, again, as always, the link to the website is always in the description. We'll always be there today, tomorrow, and forever. Okay, back to recruiting. Looks like we got a bunch of positive arrows going up for the guys we are going after. We are still down to seven players. Let's start off with defensive end, James Small. We moved up. Now we're at the top spot, technically. We're tied with, with Tennessee. But at least we made his top five. Looks like we'll be in his final three. And no negative pitch. All that looks good. You'll notice his potential and discipline are both poor. Ignore that. We've learned... Some of our, us gamers have learned over the years that, over actually recently, that that doesn't mean anything for regular season or in-season prospects. Once you get them, you know, once you go to the off-season and start recruiting, their potential discipline goes up to good and great. So I don't know why 06 or EA decided to do it like that, but the poor potential of discipline, that's not a final thing for these in-season recruits. Okay, cornerback, we did not move anywhere. Looks like Florida's just way ahead of everybody, so it's going to be real tough to snag this kid. But we got a positive pitch, so we have a chance still. Looks like we got we didn't move up, but we're still tied technically with LSU for this corner. Still don't know anything about him, though. Next, Brad Howard, the kid that I want more than any other. We are at the top of the list, right above Tennessee and LSU. Thankfully, we don't see any negative pitches, so we're in good shape there. Positive, uh, we moved up for Danny Charles, the strong safety at Irwin, Tennessee. I'd actually prefer to get this kid than the other safety only because he's from Tennessee and I would like to build that pipeline up if I can. Looks like Georgia and Tennessee are ahead of us, but I think we're going to at least make his top five. Good shape there, no negative pitches. We stayed put for this corner, Mark Williams, but looks like us and Tennessee are tied. And we have a positive pitch. That's a new thing for us, which is good. Gives me a hope that we're going to get this kid. He's the type of corner that I want. Tall, fast, rangy, all that good stuff. Next up, last but not least, here's the other safety from Louisiana. We always need to keep Louisiana as a pipeline. 
But we're moving up the list. We're now third, technically tied for first. But we are in great shape for this kid as well. So recruiting is looking great. Again, we're going after these seven players. If we somehow get all seven, we're not going to have hardly any room to recruit in the offseason. we got 60 players coming back. I'm not a big fan of over-recruiting. If that happens, we just need to go after three to five players at the most. I mean, get the absolute best we can find and go from there. The good news with all that is you could put a lot more points into training and discipline if needed. Okay, let's go to Sports Illustrated. Top 25 polls, we should be where you are seventh. Slowly moving up. You see Georgia's there. Of course, Florida. See Tennessee, their only loss was to Florida. Just looking at the rest of the conference. LSU's right there. Everything looks to be on the up and up. The SEC's looking a little bit better this year than last. Heisman watch. I'm starting to think that, there. yeah, Wesley Brown, I'm starting to think that he's going to make this list only because of the touchdowns. He only has 322 yards through four games. Of course, for splitting carries with him, uh, Jenkins, Tereshinsky, Thomas. Now, I could have him carry the entire load, but I really don't have to. Our offense is doing just fine the way we're doing it. But it's cool to see him on the list, again, simply because he already has 12 touchdowns, and the season is barely a third of the way over. So, cool to see him on this list. I was sort of expecting Nicholas to eventually get on here, but he's not getting enough touchdowns. Plus, we don't have him on special teams a whole lot. I probably need to do that, to be honest. But I prefer to have pure speed, and I think Nicholas is only a 92. We could check that here in a minute. Players of the week, I don't really care. Uh, let's go conference standings. We haven't played enough of the conference yet for this to really matter, but you can tell the West looking strong so far. We've already got four undefeated teams, but it's still way too early in the season to worry about any of this. So let's go to our roster, and let's go to our depth chart. Let's go to our special teams. It may be a good idea to have Nickel. See, I want Thomas there because of his 95 speed. His agility is not as good as Nicholas, but I need top end speed. Plus, this gives Thomas some something to do besides just run the ball a handful of times during the game. Ken King, wide receiver. What we probably can do is let's just switch Nicholas right here. And I'm okay with all of that. Let's just put Nicholas there. That way he can do a little kickoff if needed. Give him a little something because he's not touching the ball a whole lot in this offense. No different than, I always forget his name, the wide receiver I had last year who almost won the Heisman. We could do the same thing with him, uh, but we'll leave it at that. Okay, I think we're good to go, so let's go ahead and take on Vanderbilt. It's been a while since I played in their stadium. I can't tell you the last time. It had to have been in my UCF dynasty when we got invited to the SEC and played in that conference the last two seasons. Alex Hall is the only guy we have left that's still hurt. I, I got to run a little 3-4. I keep forgetting just because we're kind of down at defensive tackle. But we didn't have no problems with it last week, and I kept forgetting to use it. Looks like they are healthy. Halfback, wide receiver. Again, we'll just look at their impact players and work off of that. But they do run a basic pro-style offense, 4-3 defense. Hopefully, we'll have some pretty weather, weather today. Again, I'm super excited about the website. Make sure you check all that out. Sign up to the newsletter. That way, you don't miss out on anything. There's just so much useful information on there. And it looks like we got heavy rain. Two rain games in a row. Pretty much sums up today. It's raining at my house all day. We got a night game in the Music City. Unpleasantly chilly, and we've got some rain too for this game between between nobody. Okay. Temperatures are unpleasantly chilly, and we've got some rain too for this game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Vanderbilt Commodores. This is weird. Midway through the it's kind of glitchy. It's not showing. That's weird. That's the first time I've ever seen this. There we go. Commodores. That's kind of weird. It looks glitchy. The are just Hopefully it doesn't mess up our game today. <laughs> here, in my opinion, Kirk. 
Mississippi State has so many weapons on offense, and one of them is their outstanding wide receiver. This defense better not blink their eyes. That's for showing him. He's gone. You're Interesting. Burns. Of course, they, that's a glitch as well. That's not even Burns. The whole thing was really weird. Interesting. Okay. They won the toss. We want the ball first. That's fine. The wet wind's not doing much of nothing. All right, let's check out their roster. Okay. Starting quarterback, McKenzie Adams. He's got 76 speed, so I need to be careful about blitzing that guy. Decent little halfbacks, but none of them are impact players. Let's see. Wide receivers. They're just there. They got one guy at 94 speed. Where are their impact guys? They got no impact players on offense. That's interesting. Left tackle, 76, 74, 84, 89, and 84. Where are their impact guys? That's so weird. They don't have one. And they didn't have anybody hurt either, so I must be missing something. That's so weird. I'm kind of looking at mine. I don't see them. Interesting. Okay. Uh, 82 and 74 on the ends. Terrible, terrible tackles. We, If I could run up the middle some, I could try. Our offense kind of isn't built for that because a lot of the gun-run concepts don't really go up the middle that well. Aren't designed to, anyways. 68, they finally, there's one impact player. Pretty good, a bunch of good little middle linebackers across the board. Corner, really good corner, 90 overall, 99 speed. Whew. Impact free safety. Not much as strong safety. We can try to go after him. We've kind of struggled picking on particular defenders. There is technically the offensive impact player. Okay. You can only have three at the most on a team. Two on one side, one on the other. you got to have at least one on each side. So that is their offensive impact player is their kicker. Interesting. You don't see that too often. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. And they're ready to kick this one off. That is going out of bounds. I just pressed the button you a little too late. Here's the ref's call. The kick out of bounds will set them up so this will be interesting. It could be a long I don't know who they're going to go to on offense. They don't have that one guy they can just... So we'll try to play this. I don't know. This will be interesting. Halfback draw. Good stop there. He's not exactly going against the best left tackle in the history of football. Let's do quarters. It looks like this defense. I'm going to be hesitant to blitz just because, again, of the quarterback can run a little bit. Good defense there. Now it's third and long. We'll go cloud. I'll go after him and just see how he responds. The Commodore. Come out showing three wide. Adam, back to throw. Oh, good, good play. First down. Fan of tight end over the middle. I was so close to getting a sack. Let's go quarters. Out of nickel. I'll stay in just in case. Bad tackling there. Gets the first down. Second and inches. Still one high. It's practically a first down. Yeah. Doing that, so let's go with a 4 4. It's first and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They'll line up in the power eye. Yes, spread those back out. I don't like the way that looked. Got a few yards. A little power eye work there. Let's do a 3 4. Let's do quarters from it. It's second down and eight. This is the seventh play of this drive. Single set back to you. They'll go with a run once again. They'll 
Got a few yards there, so now it's, what, third and uh, four? They're going with a power I set, I guess, or a goal line. We'll just go 4-4. Four, four. Let's switch some guys around here. That's that tied in around play. It's good play if you can get the blocking. So it's on the 35. They'll probably go for this. And that's expected. You can't blame him. Would love to get a stop here. Adam with three wide receivers. Adam Good defense. That's a good stop. Are we like in the middle of the field? I can't really tell. We are, yes, we are technically in the middle of the field. If we're in the middle of the field, let's go ahead and try deep cross up. We can go after that weak, strong safety they got back there. I'm not feeling a whole lot of pressure. That's good defense and interception. I just threw it too hard, I guess. I didn't put enough umph on it. My bad, my bad. Of course, Bradley just... He doesn't have the best arm. It's hard to get accurate with that guy. you got to be half lucky to... Make sure he does what he's doing. That's a good play call there with four yards. Let's do another one high. Should have done a medium press on that throw. I, I think I just threw it too hard. Uh, let's go. I'm going to try a fire or two. It's on my mind for whatever reason, so we're going to try it. Don't run up the middle. <laughs> I got everybody spread out. He must have got hit when he threw it. And they are going to punt it. Very fortunate we're coming out of this. With a punt by them. It's fair catch that. Okay, let's get back to what we do best. Let's run the ball. Let's go with. Let's do a QB choice out of the gate. They're going man 4 3. We're doing that. That's eh, just good defense. They had guys coming on the outside both ways. So. Let's try to do a speed option to make up for it. Now, they may be blitzing their inside guys. I think they're doing both. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, we may have a big play right here. I pitched that way too late. Dang it. <laughs> I pitched it way too late. Third and two. We can try direct with Brown. They're going zone. Brown's tough. Get a little play there. Let's do. Let's do some triple. They're going zone for three. I'll probably just hand this off. Mississippi State. That's, just came right on through. Two, three, Kirk, Nobody blocked him. Let's do a slot cross. We're going zone dime. That guy can really bring. Second down, 14 coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Bulldogs. We're going to bring Nicholas over. Back to back. He rolls out to the left. Cover two. Big play right there. They went cover two. If I can get to it, there we go. Damn, my stupid joystick's messing up on me. Okay. Went cover two. So I just have to wait until he gets past up the sideline and then just chuck it. I tried to do a juke there. I'm very fortunate. I didn't fumble it there. It's a good play, though. 
Let's go here. Let's do some triple from two back slot. They're going zone four three. We'll probably keep this. Fumble. Mm, very fortunate to get that back. They run the option and it almost uh, second and eight. A football like that. The coach is calling the option because he trusts his players to take care of Let's the Let's do football. speed from they here. We're going man. We're doing that. that. I don't sure think I'll give this off in time. All over. Mississippi State nope. All right. That was a quick quarter. Not much happened. So Still goose eggs. Quarter one and we're all zero, zero. It's second down we're going man. They're doing the dime again, but the they could just be playing man on the inside corners. Uh, let's go this way. Set up in the gun. They go with the Good block he there. Pick up the first down with Bradley. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's gonna pitch it, he cuts up the field. Let's do QB the choice from Bunch or going zone nickel. I'll just probably hand this off. Get the first down with Thomas. He's our speedster. I think he's a little faster than Terrence Shinsky. Let's go. Let's do QB choice from wide trips. We're going zone 4-3. We're doing that. Get some yards out of that. Not a whole lot. We can try our new goal line play. We're going zone. I like how they're lined up. Let's see if we can get good blocking. First of that touchdown. We'll take it. Okay. Finally got on the scoreboard. Took us long enough. Good blocking across the board. Had to cut up field. That was going zone. That corner was cutting inside. Kick an extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. I need to get me a better kicker in the offseason. Problem is, they're hard to find, and whenever you do need one, there's like only a handful that are interested, so you just gotta hope for the best. I wish that you could get those in the regular season, but that's just not set up in the game. I wish you could do athletes, recruit them in season, well, but you can't. Not a big deal, though. Okay. Back to defense we go. They're going back to a power set. Take over at the 22 yard line. Vanderbilt lines up in the power eye yeah. set. Hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Get a stop, somebody. That's a solid five yards. That may be a face mask. I think he got a little help from his face mask. Let's check with the referee. Five yarders. Yep. Could be worse. Could be 15, I guess. Let's do quarters so from 3 4. Serious infraction. The Commodore. Come out showing three wide. Let's do that. Play action. There he goes. Somebody get him. And down he goes. I thought he got the first down, but I guess he didn't. Second and inches. Um. I don't know what they're going to do. Let's just do a zone blitz. And less Let's take a chance yard. here. Ball on their own 32. Don't run up the middle. Sets up in the eye. Toss play. And I think he got the first. No, he didn't. Interesting. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, finally. For some reason, I thought he was right behind it. Ball on the 32-yard line. They shift on their defensive front. We'll do a cover one. Big dog, big dog. Hot. Play action. Wide open. Wow. Oh, he's going. Wow. What happened there? That was a wild play. We can look at this again. Oh, he's hurt. Just a wild play. He came through. What? This is weak twins. I'm just kind of studying here. So who was supposed to defend him? Oh, you see what happened right here? Here is his defender. 
and he got caught up on his own teammate. That's why he got so wide open. Wow. And that's just good blocking right there. A little block in the back is what that was. <laughs> this guy right here. Block in the back, but didn't call it. Uh, let's attempt another zone blitz. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Adam with three wide receivers. Please do not run up the middle. Right up the gut. That's a perfect play call. What do you do? You just take a chance and hopefully like go play action. And of course that didn't happen. We'll do a cover of one. You know, let's do let's do quarters. Pull back that ad. Dang it, dang it. <laughs> Completely left my thumb off the joystick. Second and four, we'll just do four four, I guess. A lot of busted plays in this position. Fullback dive. Good stop right there. So they are doing that. Let's hmm. Let's do a Thunder Green. They come out with three wide receivers. And he got it. Dang it. It was worth a shot. I mean, it just, just couldn't make the tackle. Well, we got ourselves a close one. We got a little over two minutes to go in the half. I'd love to score a touchdown, use some of that clock, go to half with a touchdown lead, and get the ball started third quarter, and get another touchdown, go up two possessions. That was technically a perfect drive for them. They took off almost half the quarter. That's the first time somebody scored a touchdown on us in a while. Take an E on that one. They got an impact kicker in the show. And let's try a deep cross up again. Maybe I won't throw an interception this time. There we go. A little bit better throw. A little bit better throw. Now let's go right back to him. And let's do a sweep option. Out for the season. That stinks. Their top tight ends out. Broken vertebrae. Not a big fan of this. Let's just keep it with him. A fumble. Ah, I didn't juke or anything, but he just... He, he fumbled. What do you do? Well, these turnovers aren't helping us. Vanderbilt comes out with an eye formation. This rain, I don't know if that's helped or hurt. There we go. Good play there. Second and ten on a timeout. I'm going to do quarters. Our, I don't want to zone blitz. They're not helping us much. I'd like for this guy to throw in my direction. He drops back. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught. Gets about they five yards, but they call another well, timeout. They're not going to. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those here. guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. From the gun. And set to go to the air. Good play there. Let's call a timeout. Mississippi State takes a timeout. Good stop all around. Let's do a safe return. All right, we survived that little part right there. Hopefully they don't fake it here. I have everything matched up if ne needed. Don't, don't, don't get, there we go. Just get out of his way. All right, we got a minute 20. We need to get down the field a little bit. Let's do a speed option first. Then we may have to start throwing. We're going zone nickel. Doing that. Bradley with four wide receivers. Here's the option. Get out of bounds. Not a whole lot there. Good defense. Let's do P. Reed. 
We're going man 4 3. We're doing that. Bringing both safety. Make a play. Nice. Go, Stewart. Go. Big play. They went cover zero. So I'm going over the top. I'm just waiting until he makes his cut. I should have threw it right here. Almost got sacked. I timed it just right, though. Just enough. Big play. So we are close to the right hash. Let's go here and let's do another speed option. We got a minute left. Plenty of time. And we're already on the 38. If we can hurry up to the line. The Bulldog. Come out in the shotgun. Good protection there. Got out of bounds, second and one. Let's do a direct for Tereshinsky. Going zone 4-3. Everybody's on that side. Good blocking right there. Let's get out of bounds. No reason to try to make a play there. Let's go. Let's do QB choice. And since we're in the red zone, From trips, they're going zone nickel. Old Spice red zone. I probably should have went the other way. I didn't think about that. That's okay. Get a play there. 44 seconds. We can stay here. Go speed option. We're going zone 4-3. A little nervous about this. We're doing that. Mississippi State lines up in a shotgun set. Somehow he gets a touchdown. My goodness, that was wild. I didn't even use the speed button here. Just a great block by somebody. I think that was Nicholas. Okay, that's how you end the half there. We still got 24 seconds left, so anything's possible. But we accomplished our goal. At least part of it. We got to get another touchdown beginning of the second half. So far, Vandy's given us as good a game as anybody right now outside of Texas A&M. Got to figure out what to do on defense. Their offense is doing a good job. That last drive, they done what they had to do. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, 20 seconds. Let's just keep everything in front of us. I don't know what they're going to do. They'll probably run it. It's hard to do anything 20 seconds and 80 yards, but we'll see what they do here. A little counter play. And a fumble. Somebody get it. The rain is helping us and hurting us. That's why I, I think the rain's got a lot to do with this game. Nobody hit him hard or anything. So it is what we're on the 23-yard line. Let's go. Let's do wide receiver under. I've got 13 seconds, and they're blitzing both inside guys. So I'm going to go over the top to Stewart. Make a play. That's good defense. Ooh, glad he didn't intercept that. Nine seconds left. Um, let's go tight end cross. We're going man. Who's on who? Can't tell. He's doing that. Oh, he dropped it. Six seconds. Third and ten. I need to do something quick. Um, we're going to do wide receiver under one more time. It shouldn't take us six seconds. They're going zone. This may be bad. We'll see what happens. Four, three, two. Oh, I didn't get in. Dang it. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a touchdown right there. So close. This is another RPR for me. Just threw it over the top right there. Ah, good defense. Okay. Let's go to stats and sc scores. Offensively, we're putting up the yardage. We're just not putting up the, the points yet. We got 14. Let's see. Biggest thing has been turnovers for both teams. Just some fumbles. Last couple of games, we haven't seen many. But today, I think the rain's kind of affecting a lot of that. 
I don't care about the individual stats. None of that really matters yet. So let's go into the third quarter. We'll be kicking off to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Let's see if Thomas can do something Thomas here. Fields it in the end zone. Nope. Just can't get through it there. The all right. Come out out of the field we are. Let's call. We haven't called this play yet. The double running back option. Get the ball going here. man for three. Can't tell who's on who. We'll go this way. That's right tackle went for the linebacker instead of the defensive end. They ran the option, but the defense was ready for it and got him for a loss. And that's where the scout team really Let's go back to a P. Reed. We're going man dime. I may actually want to hand this off. Nope, ain't gonna do that. All right, let's see. Do advance. This defense would be just lost playing against the option. Good little play there. Now it's third and four. I am going to do another RPR. Let's do a slot cross. We're going zone. Let's bring him over. Another cover two, it looks like. He guns it to the left. He gets another, and this is a big play. Big. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go gun ace, and let's do some option here. Then we got to get Brown going a little bit. We're going man. We're doing that. Oh. I may just keep this with Bradley. Hopefully this doesn't mess me up. Play there. Go, Bradley, go. Go, Bradley, go. He's knocked out Good little play. They brought everybody, their brother, to the left side, so I'm not going to hand it off to Jenkins. So I'm going to keep this with Bradley, and I had good blocking by the tight end. That's who I was worried about. He got a good block there, and he actually blocked two guys out there for about a split second. So good little play by Bradley. Basic zone read stuff right there. All right. We're on the right hash. Let's go. Let's try QB choice from spring. Right. Going man the nickel. Play of this drive. Who is on? There you go. I think it's the linebacker. Good little play. This may be six points. Good play. Nice little drive. Just great protection all around. A little pull and tackle, a little dart play more or less. We can go back and look at this again. That went man. It appeared that that linebacker was on Nicholas. So all we needed was just good protection up front, and we had it. The pulling tackle didn't really have to block anybody, but I had all this field to work with, and guard high had a great block on that corner out there. Easy touchdown. I'm loving the QB choice. I, I feel like I'm really making it work now. I'm liking a more than speed option, to tell you the truth. I'm kind of treating it as my base run play. It's QB choice from various formations. Then you sprinkle in a little triple on top of that, and you can really and it looks like they're ready for the get things going. Not the best kick in the world. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. I'm going to take this one yep. out. My kicker got destroyed. Good tackle. Got a little nervous there. They had a lot of numbers on that side. All right, let's do a zone blitz. So we finally completed our goal. We got the two touchdowns we wanted. We got to do something on defense now. That's good play. Very fortunate they got it just two yards. The zone blitzes aren't like... I'm going to try zone blitz one more time. I really feel like we're going to go play action here. But if they don't, I may just have to get away from it altogether. Half back draws, good little play. Well, they didn't get much out of it, but they're calling the right plays against my zone blitzes. Let's put it that way. Good penetration by this defense. All right, third and long. That's what we want. We're gonna go with the cover six. Ah, oh, couldn't get to him in time. Thankfully, overthrew it. Punt the ball. When he misses, 
Now here's our time to really stretch the lead. Get a touchdown here, and then I'll really start feeling good about ourselves. You got a lefty punter. Get a block on the left. All right, left hash. Let's try. It's on my mind. So let's try. We don't run this play a ton. But this triple QB option, this is more of like an inside run play with your quarterback if you're going to keep it. Now, they're going zone. I can show you how this works, depending. They're doing that. Now, we're just going to hand this off. Let's get an extra blocker. That's good defense. Corner came through. The impact linebacker came through. I could have kept it. We can look at the play here. I could have kept it with the quarterback. And the quarterback, if you notice, he goes straight up the field. But I wanted to hand it off because we had the numbers on that side. But they Vanderbilt played a good play that one well. All right, let's try basic speed to make up for that. They're going man 4-3. He's doing that. He's doing that. Uh, let's just go left. Oh, ooh. Mm. Good play. First down. That was a spectacular option keeper there. And I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was And what's wrong with my, this quarterback made my the controller, right my up arrows messing up on me. Thank you, Brian. Good heads up play there by the QB. And dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm going to have to call time out here. My up arrow. I'm going to have to use the joystick, I guess. All right, they're going zone. We'll just hand this off. It's not a whole lot there, middle of the field. Yeah, we'll just use the joystick going forward. I bought this controller several months ago. It's the Sony controller. It's from Sony themselves. And I've had, like, issues with the right joystick. And I don't know if I just got unlucky or what. Ooh, bad throw. I threw it on the run. Didn't have a chance with that one. Uh, third and seven. Okay, now the up arrow's working. That makes no sense, but okay. All right, let's go halfback corner. They're going man. I'm going to try to give this to guard high if I can. Yeah, we'll just try to go to guard high. Pick up a first down. And guard high has hurt his chest. So we're going to move Stewart over. Then the King, I think, comes in over the Z spot. Let's go here. Ooh, I'm kind of down receivers, aren't I? Hey, let's do PA read anyways. We're going man 4-3. Who's on who? Spread him. Hey, I will probably just throw this. Nope, we're going to have to run. Oh, my gosh, what a play! <laughs> Completely ad lib that entire play. We'll break this play down. Okay, I was going to throw it because they just got too many players in the box. So I'm going to throw it. And I noticed the right defensive end, that guy right here, is coming through. So I'm like, well, I can't do much. I, I felt the heat. So I'm like, I got to run to the left. So I'm running to the left. And the problem is, all of my routes go to the right. So I'm out of route options. But thankfully, Brown plays a smart and cuts upfield. And I just do a medium press, and it throws it right over that linebacker's head. Wesley Brown, number 24. That's an awesome throw, though. Wow, what a play. Interesting, interesting play. Now that's a, another type of RPR if you want to do that, too. Cool thing is a lot of these routes that run, that are keep going, when they go to the sideline, it looks like they'll eventually cut up field. So something to keep in mind when you're on the run with your quarterback. Oh, wow. Okay, that's – we're up three scores. We got this game well in hand. Looks like our defense is finally doing their thing. Vanderbilt just doesn't have enough offensively to keep up with us. Next two opponents will, though. you got to remember, we got LSU and Florida coming up. Get through those two games, then we may have a magical season until we get to the last game of the season and play bad. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about with that. We'll use your tackle there. Uh, we can, 
I'm going to attempt one more zone blitz, but none of them are working. Guard high's only out for a quarter. I completely forgot he was hurt. Yeah, let's see right here. Yeah, roll the other way. Dang it. And I had to come all the way back to make the tackle. It's a good play, though. I am not doing with the zone blitz. They are calling perfect plays against it. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. They shift down the defensive Do line. Shifts. Good play there. My one that I think is defense tackles. Let's do a 3-4, mix it up a little bit, give our defensive tackles a bit of a break. Ball on the 46-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Big dog, big dog. Hot. Adam, back to throw. Short talk. Uh oh, that's intercept. That's six points. Oh, he got him at the toe. That's just a bad throw by the quarterback. That's all that was right there. Defense looks very well He just overshot it big time. Almost a pick six. All right. We are, let's go. Uh, let's do an RP. R. Stu P. Reed. I'm thinking of ways to go after that strong safety. We're fixing to do that here. They're going zone. I'm gonna here. Uh, that's good defense right there. I'm just gonna take this off with Bradley. That's just good defense. That right defensive end kind of contained me the entire time. Let's do QB choice. Let's flip it. Let's go to the weak side. We're going man nickel. Ball on the 36 yard line. Ooh. Yeah. Let's we'll do that. Pick up a first with Jenkins. Get a little play there. Let's do another QB choice on a wide trips this time. Man. We're going man dime. I may. I don't know. Let's just do this. That's a good little linebacker out there. Not going to lie. He's tough. Got eight yards out of that. Let's keep doing more QB choice. They're having a hard time stopping it. They're going zone 4-3, and they're shifting hard that way. I'll probably keep this. That's just good defense. I probably should have handed it off. The defensive end just came right on through. Sometimes he gets blocked. Sometimes he doesn't. You just kind of take a chance with it there. This is two down territory for me, so let's just run the ball. We're going man nickel. This is the last play of the quarter. I'm going to let that play go. I think they're going to blitz both linebackers. So we'll just let that go to the fourth quarter. Okay, so great third quarter. quarter. Everything went according to plan. Three, our score, Mississippi State, 28, Vanderbilt, 7. Going All right, they're going man nickel. They're probably running the same play, and they are doing that. So, and don't fumble. Very fortunate he didn't fumble it. That's just good defense by the linebacker. Fourth and eight on the 25. I don't... I don't know if my kicker can make this. We can try. Let's practice our field goal kicking. I think the game is over with. Now, I don't know if he's got the leg. Hey, he's, he seems like doing a little bit better. That's curving back. Oh, just enough. Had a boy Thomas. He had a, quite a bit of oomph on that one. He could win another 15 yards. We don't ring the cowbell on field goals, though, only for touchdowns. Kicks it off. Samuel has it at the five. Kicker got destroyed. That was a wild juke. Do you see that? Let's go back and look at this again. Look at this juke right here. <laughs> a little side moonwalk there. I am not going to blitz. It's not working, so let's just go with the quarters. Draw. It's not a whole lot there. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Let's do another quarter. It's time from three, four. Second and seven. Ball on their own thirty. Three wideouts here. 
Let's just have them go in tight. Back to pass. Steps up. Throw. Good defense. Pass is way too late. That'll drive the quarterback And let's go and cover three cloud. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Nickel defense. He drops back. And that was a terrible play by King. Just blew right by him. Let me tell you something. That defense he felt the heat, so he went out with it. I probably should have done a QB spy, maybe on the next third down. Surprised he hasn't done that more often. Don't be surprised to see this defensive end wreak havoc back here. Nice little play, fullback over. We can get some yards out of it. Too bad their fullback slow. Let's go back to quarters. It's second down and six to go. And I forgot the the quick. I forgot what it is to hot route your defensive end to a. That's a good play. To a spy, I forget to do that. I think it's R one for the that defensive end and. They need to get him some more carries. Not the full with the here men on third down. Wide open. Hey. Somebody got a hand on it from one of the defensive tackles. Let's go back to quarters. Oh, probably a touchdown. Oh, overthrew it. He's overthrowing a couple of his deep balls today. All right, let's try the, this again. There we go. You're not going to run on me that time, bro. They've got to do a better job of and they're going to go for it again. If Don't blame them. Let's go cloud. He's going to do the same thing. The D line shifts over. Here we go. He's looking. Deep pass to the right side. He dropped it. Did he get hit when he. Just a, just a drop. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, you got to remember the last game I mentioned that I may increase sliders for the CPU the next season. Very good chance I'll be doing that. I just don't want to do it right in the middle of the season. Kind of messes up stats. It just or the uh, the perception of it. So I'd rather wait. And I want to do it in this dynasty. That way you can kind of tell the difference. That's just good defense. Should have kept it. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before we'll he run some clock if we can. Like no I think it makes sense to I think I'm ready to do that. Now if I still lose a couple games, then maybe I gotta wait or something. But it's when I'm playing well, I play well. That makes any sense. Come out in the shotgun. But I don't mind going up. I don't know, ten to fifteen percent across the board for the CPU. I think that's the easiest, simplest way to do that. To make things harder. Here we go. And I couldn't pitch it. Dang it. Third and three. Let's go. Let's do trips attack. They're going man. I was going to try to give this to Nicholas. I don't know if he can make this throw. We're going to try. Mississippi State comes out in the shotgun. Depending on who's defending Tereshinsky, I may give it to him. It's either going to go Tereshinsky or Nicholas. I have no need to go over the top. Threw it too short. Still got the first down, though. He barely picked up the first. But it's still great awareness by this receiver to know where he was. Let's just hand it off. I don't know if I have enough time to run out the rest of the clock. It'd be close. So we'll do a QB choice for now. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Because, you know, we got a B minus overall team. If I win the national championship with this type of talent, then I need to increase sliders. And I definitely don't mind doing that. But I want to wait until next season, if possible. That's an awesome run right here. Look at this blocking. 
Great little pick block by Nicholas. And then I'm just cutting up field because that corner sitting there in cover two. Another good block by Nicholas. Knocks him out of the way. Good block there by a tackle on the safety. Awesome little run. Okay, now we'll just take a knee going forward. All right, that was a lot of fun. Wesley Brown only had 56 yards, two touchdowns, but he also got a re receiving touchdown off that wild play in the third. This game felt a lot like the Auburn game. Vanderbilt's defense wasn't too bad, they, you know, but we were still able to prevail. But if you're going to try to beat me, you have to have some impact players in the backfield to really make a difference. And in the last three games, three or four, we haven't really seen that. Now, we're going to see that for sure against LSU and Florida. We will be tested with those two games, I'm sure. I've lost to LSU plenty of times in the past on Heisman. All right. Last, last kneel. Okay. Let's look at some stats here once the game is officially over. Thirty-one to seven. We'll take that any day of the week. For another presentation of NCAA football 2006, and again, our final score in this one. Nice little stadium. Cool to see the city backdrop in the end zone. Okay, we had a little over 400 yards. Offensively, they just really couldn't get a whole lot going. Their tight end going down didn't help anything. The fumbles finally went down, and all that was in the fourth or in the first half. I like to think the rain had a lot to do with that. Let's go to individual. Let's go here. Bradley may have had his best game of the season, 9 of 13. He threw the ball really well outside that first throw with that interception, which was my fault. But I thought he played really well. He ended up, look at these yards for the all the running backs and such. 56, 52, 27, 26, 19. Brown got the bulk of the carries, which he needs to. Got two touchdowns. Receiving Nicholas done a lot of the work there. But Brown came up with a lone touchdown. Again, CPU pancakes. It's probably already been this, always been this way, and I never noticed but they don't do that in the CPU games themselves. Uh, defensively, Moore had way more tackles than anybody else. Right outside linebacker, Fields, Baldwin, all that good stuff. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, we should be well rested. Now, what we're going to do, stay to the end of the video. We're going to simulate this bye week. I don't want to start next week simulating a week, the bye week. It's just waste of your time. So let's just do that now. It's going to do it right here. So again, let's talk a little bit about the website. Again, I've simplified and streamlined the main menu, added all the downloads, uh, the, that download section with manuals, guides, buy books, playbooks, and such. Added a bunch of resources, simplified the resources section as well. Just a lot of good positive things are happening on the website. Please make sure you check all that stuff out. It's all there for you all to uh, get the information you need. And the next video will probably be my first Madden game. I'm not going to reveal which Madden game I'm going to start playing, but I've already started capturing playbook stuff for it. Okay, we got the bye week here. Let's go to recruiting really quick. Let's see if we got to make any changes. Everybody stayed put except for a cornerback that went up. Defensive end still looks good there. We're still good with this corner. We're still good with this corner. We still don't have a clue what he likes. Quarterback Brad Howard, we're in good shape there. Strong safety, good shape. Corner, we saw his positive pitch in the last, at the beginning of the video. Strong safety. Well, okay, we're in good shape for everybody here. So what's going to hurt is anytime you don't play, it hurts your recruiting. It is what it is with these bye weeks. So let's go ahead and simulate it. And... All right, that should be it. When we, uh, the next Dynasty video, we will play LSU. They will be ranked somewhere. Apparently, they're still undefeated. It's going to be a real tough one, but it's either that game is going to be next or my new first Madden video 
which I'm super excited about. You can't imagine how excited I am about all the playbook stuff, the full with it. All, and again, the strategy guides I added. It was Madden 02 through 07. Those are the guides that I got on the website. So again, make sure you check all that stuff out. All right, guys, have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later.